A man bitten by a shark off Cape Cod is describing the terrifying moments in his first television interview. He says a TV clip may have actually helped save his life. WBZ's Anna Myla reports now. Well, that's a defensive wound. I punched it wow. on the gill. Bill Litton has a cast on his arm after swatting a shark with such force it let go of the tight grip on his leg. If I hurt my hand, I think I hurt the shark. And it uh, released and swam away. Earlier this month, he was swimming in just 10 feet of water off of Long Nook Beach in Truro when he suddenly felt an excruciating pain. Beyond excruciating. I felt like I was in a wrestling match because this animal was trying to flip me as I turned my head around to see a big head on my leg that belongs to the shark. In that terrifying moment, Litton recalled something he saw on TV that would end up saving his life. In Nature Documentary 101, I knew dolphins always hit the gill. That's the place you go to attack the shark. After he was free from the shark's jaws, Litton yelled out for help. Luckily, there were people within yelling distance. I yelled help, and they heard me, and they dragged me in, and then things really took off. The 61-year-old was flown to Tufts Medical Center in Boston, where he was placed in a two-day coma. Doctors say he lost a lot of blood. Full of it. Full oil change. Ten days later, he was transferred to Spalding Rehab in Charlestown. When he recovers, he says he will get back in the water, but maybe just not at the same beach. It freaked me out a little to go to the same place, even though lightning never strikes twice, right? Litton's wife says she is grateful for all the people on the beach who helped her husband and for the police officer who drove her more than two hours to Boston so that she could be by his side. Anna Myler, WBZ News.